Hi everybody, did some glazing today and I thought I'd share the before and afters. These three salsa servers were dipped in chino and then I poured chambray into each of the bowls, dumping it out quickly and then dipped it so that the rim was covered about oh an inch, inch and a half down the pot. So that's chambray over chino. These two I dipped in chino and then I filled each of the bowls separately with sea mist and then dipped the rim into sea mist. This is a pretty tried and true combination. It usually comes out great. I did two salsa servers where I dipped the entire bowl in chino and then I filled each bowl with Mediterranean mist and also dipped it in Mediterranean mist. In the past I've had problems so I thinned the Mediterranean mist down just a bit. I'm hoping that these are going to be okay. Again, Mediterranean mist over chino. And this batter bowl is also Mediterranean mist over chino, only in this case I didn't put any chino on the inside. I only ran the chino up to here and then filled the inside and dipped it in Mediterranean mist. I've got some toad signs with a little iron, uh, iron red watered down glaze and then just wiped it with a wet sponge so it went down into the letters and I also did some small mugs. In this case I dipped the entire mug into chino and then I just dipped it from the rim down to about halfway in Mediterranean mist. These mugs are plain no decoration, so I filled the inside with chambray, dipped it about three quarters of the way from the bottom up in chino, and then dipped it in chambray from the rim down. So the top should be chambray alone, and then the middle section should be a combination, and then hopefully there'll still be some chino on the bottom. And then these are sea mist over chino did the same thing where the only thing on the inside is the sea mist along with maybe an inch on the rim. Then it's a combination of sea mist over chino in the middle and then just chino at the bottom. I also have two pieces that are done in fog with just a little bit of cream along the rim. Notice how little because the after shots will show you just how far my cream likes to run. I'm going to load these pieces into the kiln and if I have room then I'm going to experiment a little bit with some fire brick and chung red and whatever else I can think of uh, with some of those little vases that I make when I'm at Nokomis Grove. They're good for experimenting with colors. So, I'm going to light the fire today, and it should be ready, let's see, today is Tuesday, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so they'll be ready Wednesday night. <laughs> Thanks for watching.